Hello, welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to group data in a pivot table by quarter, specifically by fiscal quarter. I was training a group for a client the other day in a classroom situation, and they liked how to group the information by year, month, and quarter. But one of the students said, our group keeps a fiscal year. Can you change the orientation for us? I said, absolutely. Now, I didn't have time to do it in class, but I promised the student that I would create a video to demonstrate it. So here we go. Let's create a pivot table. We have uh, each day of the year for 2008 and the sales for that date. Let's create the pivot table, data, pivot table, pivot chart report. Let's take all of the defaults. So now we have a new worksheet over here. Let's call this pivot table. And we will drop the field for date in the row, and we will drop the field for, for sales inside the data. All right, we don't need the field list. Now, with one cell selected in the date field, on the pivot table toolbar drop-down menu, let's select group and show detail group. And what we want to do is group by month and by quarter. Click OK. And there we have our quarterly groupings, but they are for a calendar year basis. How do we change this to be fiscal year? Really very simple. Let's select the first label up here. And let's just go up here and say this is now the fourth quarter. So it's a fiscal year in this case that begins uh, April 1st. So April 1st is quarter number one. So this will rename to be first. And this will be second. And finally, our third quarter. OK, now let's put these in order. Let's go up here on the fourth quarter, right mouse click, and say change the order. What we want to do is move the fourth quarter to the end. And there we go. First, April through June, second, July through September. OK, there are a few things that we can do to make this cosmetically an improved report. Let's start here by right clicking over our field settings for our new field, which is the quarter. So for the field settings, what we're going to want to do here is call this fiscal quarter. OK. And we also want to be able to have a subtotal for each of the quarters. So we'll add the summation function in here. Click OK. So now we have a summation for each of our quarters. Now let's change a couple of other things. Let's change the number format. So we'll right click over here on sum of sales, field settings. We want the number to change. Let's use accounting without a currency symbol, zero decimal points. Click OK. And there you go. Our numbers are formatted. Let's do another change over here. The original field was date. Let's change this to read month. Click OK. We're just about finished. There's one more cosmetic change that I'd like to add in. Let's select each of the subtotals for the quarters as well as our grand total. And let's make them bold so that they stand out. OK, by grouping our information, it's also possible for us to hide the details. I just double clicked, and I'm hiding the details for each one of our quarters. So there we have a nice, neat summary. It's very easy to reveal the information. I can do that one at a time, or I could select each of the quarters and say, show the detail. So there you have it. It's very simple to rename our quarters, reorder them by changing the order, moving one to the front, moving it up or down. Also, we can highlight any one of our rows in the pivot table, change the format to make it bold to be stand so it will stand out. And there you go. We'll see you in the next Tips and Time Savers.